My name is YouTuber. Welcome to Do It Yourself and How To. Today's video is about how to remove a compressed spring safely. The safest way to use a spring compressor is by using hand tools to decompress the spring evenly. Impact wrenches can cause uneven compression, which can cause the tool to slip or added stress, which can cause damage to the tool. Decompressing a spring should be done on the extreme caution. A decompressed spring is stored energy, which is very dangerous. Struts and springs can sometimes be a little scary. That is unless you have the right tools. They are really simple, however, be sure to use your PPEs. I bought a pair of springs for my forerunner, and this one, the bushing is bad, so I will be taking it out to check to see if the strut slash shocks is good so that if it is I would buy bushings to put for it. The struts compressor or the spring compressor I have which is this I bought from Amazon and I will be demonstrating the proper way and the right way to use spring compressors. This safety clip I had to grind. I hope you can see it. So I could get it on the spring. The spring is a bit too big for it. When placing the springs, I try putting it this way, but when putting it, I cannot get the socket. I cannot get the socket to fit up here. So in that case, I have to turn it the other way around. Once you get it in, you turn it to the furthest position. you tighten to keep it in place. Once you feel it, take the weight, you take the other one, huh? and you slide it down. You put the safety pin, make sure it's secured, and you bring it to the opposite side. The 
tudo. Tá subindo. E vamos em space. The next thing you do, you take your your spanner and you slacken the center. You slacken the center bolt, not remove, but just slacken it with the tension on the the spring holding the tension the compressor holding the tension the center nut is the same thing once you got that done then you would start the spray never try removing or tightening the strut spring compressor without giving it some lubrication then you start the process of tightening Now when doing this, it's wise to have it in a vise, but do it yourself as like myself, don't have a vise. So in that case, I have that tool to hold it. Just have to keep in mind, never use a power tool, which may cause vibration, causing the spring compressor to move. Also, the center bolt, using a power tool, cause the shaft to turn which can damage the rubber seals inside is off. If you notice everything is turning, bell give it two more
is where the gap here. So now you take your 17 When you remove the center nut, if you would be placing the springs back on the strut, just remember the way you took them out. If anything, you could take out a picture of the way you took it out. And this is the proper way in taking out springs of your strut in the next video i will show the testing i'll make sure that th this strut is good before i ordered the washer and replacing it please if you enjoy the video like and share please comment Thank you and bye for now.